Hi, I'm Emily Despirito with ATMC TV. We're here today at Rourke Woods celebrating the second annual Brunswick Stew Cook-Off. Contestants from around the county have shined up their pots, pulled together their best ingredients, and are serving up some piping hot stew for some hungry attendees. Let's go see what the contestants are cooking up now. We're here with WHQR, the winners from last year's Brunswick Stew Cook-Off. And what was your name? I'm Barbara Bush, and this is my husband, Cameron Bush. Okay, and y'all are the chefs for the Brunswick Stew. Yes, we are. Okay, so how long did it take you to make your Brunswick Stew? Not very long. We, we've got it down to a, a science. We took us about maybe three hours, well, Cameron. Three hours of, of assembling, but there's prep time before that cooking meat and things of that like that. So. Okay, so what are some ingredients that you put in your stew? We're not telling. It's all a secret. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want anybody to be the winner next year either. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Do you think you're going to win again this year? We hope so. Um, we've done a good job, I think, and we have a very southern Brunswick stew, so it's very good. We think it's very good. Okay, and so how long have you been making Brunswick stew overall? We've been making it for probably 10 years and we make it for our church so we make a lot of it and we sell it so we, we get a lot of practice during the year okay well that's great well thank you very much we appreciate it hi we're here with Ken Flevins from Star News and are you the chef of your Brunswick stew yes I am I do a cooking show for the newspaper called in the kitchen with Ken that's online and you can go to in the kitchen with Ken.com to check it out Oh, that's great. So is this your first year or were you here last year? I was here last year and unfortunately I didn't win. We had to bow to WHQR here behind us. Barb, and they have a great stew that they make every year. Okay, so are, is this recipe your original recipe or? Yes, it is. It's not a family recipe. It's something that I came up with uh, last year and I kind of tweaked it a little for this year's contest. Okay, that's great. So what are your ingredients for your stew? I smoke uh, pork tenderloins and I've got two pork tenderloins in there and two uh, chickens. I think that's a big part of my stew is that I smoke my, my pork for probably about four hours. It gives it a nice unique flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a special special chili pepper that I put in there that gives it a little bit of bite to it. Okay, so overall how long does it take you to cook the stew? This took me probably about four or five hours last night to cook and then it set overnight and uh, kind of let everything simmer and all those flavors and stuff meld together. So I'm hoping it does well. Okay, and so do you think you're going to win this year? I'm keeping my fingers crossed. We've got some tough competition around here. We'll see how it goes. We do. Well, thank you very much. Thank we you. appreciate it. Okay, we're here with Jimmy and Carlton with American Legion of Veterans Organization. Now, is this your first time here? Uh, yes, this is our first contest here. Okay, and y'all are both the chefs for your Brunswick stew. That's correct. We're the chefs. Okay, so how long did it take you to make your Brunswick stew? Ten hours. Wow, 10 hours, okay. Now, do y'all put anything special into your stew or? Well, it's a secret recipe and we can't, we can't divulge that information at this time. So is this y'all's original recipe? Yes, it's a family recipe, passed down from generation to generation. Okay, and so my last question for you, and the most important is, do you think you're gonna win this year? I think we're gonna come in first. And we're here with VFW, some more chefs of some Brunswick stew, and you're the head chef of your stew? Yes. Okay, so how long did it take you to make your stew? Four hours. Four hours and that's everything with the prep time and all that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now is there any special ingredients that you put in your stew? No. A lot of love. Yes. A lot of love? A lot of love, <laughs> that's right. It's a simple recipe, it's been handed down over the years and we just make it with love and it turns out right every time. Okay, so it wasn't your original recipe, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it's an old recipe we've had around for a long time. I'm, we've been cooking these stews for, I hate to give my age away, but I've been doing it for close to 40 years. So <laughs> it, it, it's, been, it's been around for a long time. Well, that's great. It looks delicious. Well, thank you. And we're here with Miracle Temple, and you were the, a winner of a certain category last year? Yeah, restaurant. Okay, so you got the first place in restaurant. Yeah. Okay, well, that's great. So what's your name? Tanya. Tanya, and you're the chef of your Brunswick stew? Yeah, I am.
Okay, so how long did it take you to make your Brunswick stew? Probably about two hours. Okay, so that's not too long. Yeah, it's not. And do you have any special ingredients that you put into your recipe? Um, I do, but it's a secret. Okay, so it's a secret. But is it your original recipe? It's my original recipe, and really it was handed down from my, um, my grandmother. Okay, so kept in the family. Kept in the family. Okay, that's great. So it didn't take you too long in secret recipes, but the big question is, do you think you're going to win again this year? I'm looking forward to it. Okay, well, that's great. Well, thank you, and we appreciate it. Thank you. And we're here with Lyman Robertson, and is this your first year here, or were you here last year? No, this is my first year with them. Okay, and who did you come out here with? Uh, my son, Adam, and we're also representing my dad, Ed Robertson. Okay, now that's great. And y'all have a family recipe here? Yes, we do. We've had one that's been in the family for over 100 years. Oh, wow, that's a long time. So how long does it take you to make this stew? Uh, generally about four to six hours, start to finish. Okay, so that's a good amount of time. Do you have any secret recipes or secret ingredients that you put in? Well, for your safety, the last person I told this to, they haven't found their body yet, so I can't divulge the secret anymore. Oh, well, that's not good. I think I'll just stick to not knowing. But um, so the most important question is, do you think you're going to win this year? Oh, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm the one. Okay, so we're talking to the winner. We're, we are. We're, talk, we're talking to the winner right now. <laughs> okay, well, that's great. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. And we're here with Michelle Tregner, and you're just an individual contestant this year? Yes, I sure am. Yes. Okay. First year doing this. Yes. For Brunswick stew, yes. Okay, so this is your first year. Yes. So how long does it take you to make your stew? Oh, several days. Oh, okay. I take several days to do it. I had to make eight gallons for today. So, and I actually made about 10 gallons instead, so to make extra. But yes, it takes me at least two days to make it. Oh, wow, so that's a long time. Now, do you have any ingredients that you put in or anything special? I do have special ingredients, some things I don't want to reveal at this point in time, but I make mine with chicken, and there is a tomato base too. Um, but I've had this recipe for about 35 years at least. Okay. Wow, so it has been passed down? Yes. It's Yes. And so anyway, um, basically this is our first uh, year doing this contestant. Um, we did the Chowder Festival before. And we did that in Waterford and won that. So very excited, but we make Brunswick stew a lot, and we freeze it and keep some at home. So we are excited. Just wish the weather was cooperating with us a little bit better today. But anyway, we are excited to do it. So. Okay, and so how long have you been making Brunswick stew just in general? I'd say 30 years. Oh, wow, so that's a long time. But yes, it's been passed down through family members. So, yeah. Okay, well, excited. yeah, well, that's great. So, do you think you're going to win today? I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good, but there's a lot of, you know, I haven't tried everyone's uh, stew, so I can't really say that for a fact. But yes, I feel pretty good about it. I know ours is great. So, that's all I can comment on, really. So. Hi, I'm Emily with Lancaster Farms. How are you guys doing today? Doing fine. Great. Hope you are. Great. Trying to stay warm, I hope. Yes. yes. How long have you guys been making Brunswick stew? We've been making Brunswick stew. This is uh, about our tenth year. Tenth year making it. Now, did you compete last year? No, this is our first competition. Uh, we cook it once a year for our family, and then we uh, kind of divide it up among the family members and freeze it and eat it all winter. So uh, invite the neighbors. Invite all have the neighbors party. over and have a, a Brunswick stew party, and then what's left, we, we'll freeze it. And, it looks like you guys have a lot of stew. We do. We cook. Uh, that's a 30-gallon pot, So we and we have a 50-gallon pot, but this is a 30-gallon that we cook down here. So how long have you been making it? About 10 years. 10 years. Mm -hmm. Now, did you you inherited this pot, I'm assuming? We inherited the pot, and we made the ring that it's, that it's hanging from, uh, but the, the pot belonged to uh, uh, our, our dad, and it was part of, part of the family. Tell them about the wheel, Jerry. The wheel, this is part of an old wagon wheel uh, that we welded to a disc blade off of a tractor to make it stand up. It's just, it's a, it's a, a country type thing, you know, you have to use what you have, so that's what we did. So, do you have any secret ingredients for your stew? Yes. I hope you're not going to ask what they are, but yes. <laughs> I won't, I won't, I won't ask you. I won't ask. No, we use uh, we use chicken and, and beef and uh, lima beans and corn and tomatoes and uh, what else do we Potato, put in? Potatoes. Potatoes and, and uh, then the secret part. Then the secret then. part, which uh, we're not allowed to know what that is. We have a look there. <laughs> <laughs> now I know I, 
the original Brunswick stew has uh, rabbit and squirrel, am I right? Right. The original Brunswick uh, stew had squirrel in it, and over the years people have uh, replaced the squirrel, most people replaced it with chicken. So. Uh, I guess that's a, a favored meat among the other ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the chicken is a little more readily available than the squirrel would yeah. be. You know? <laughs> I imagine it would be. A little more appetizing, too. But we buy the chickens. We don't kill the chickens. <laughs> I wouldn't either. I'd just, I'd just buy them. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. We hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. And good luck at the end, and we hope you guys stay warm. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.